Hi, and welcome to the weekly predictions based on astrology for the week of October 4, uh, 2021. In terms of the stock market direction, I think Monday is going to be a down day. Tuesday, the market may recover and go back up, but then the rest of the week looks down to me. In terms of the specific influences, um, I think Monday may see the stronger down influence towards the end of the day. And uh, it could be actually it could see actually positive news earlier in the morning about like things like retail sales, some negotiations uh, may be announced that are pending, uh, perhaps agreements uh, may be reach, reached reached uh, among members of some larger international organizations about um, if there are some ongoing discussions the um, the agreements may actually be reached especially in the morning, or they may just be proceeding smoother than usual where parties are more likely to listen to each other's uh, demands and specific focus of the discussions or the topics that may come up will be pharmaceuticals, healthcare, oil, gas, chemicals, and also water, navy, maritime shipments, beverages, uh, movies, religious activities, anything that's related to Neptune. Those areas of discussions, those areas of negotiations may actually go uh, smoother than usual today. At the same time, um, there may be some concerns and or disagreements about details. So the parties will be willing to listen to each other, but there may be some, uh, like I said, miscommunication or disagreements about very specific uh, details, maybe. Uh, so maybe there's agreement on a larger scale, but how exactly something needs to be implemented or what the specific dose should be or what the specific payment conditions or some specific requirements or regulations, that's where the point of contention might be. And that's where, or like maybe the cost, or maybe there's a, an agreement about, say, making a purchase overall, but the exact details of how things should be, you know, the shipping route for, you know, some sort of a shipment uh, over a body of water, those details may still need to be ironed out. And at this time on Monday, there will likely not be agreement uh, about that. Uh, generally, from about the 4th through the 10th, which is basically this entire week, it might be a slightly tense time um, globally where there may be increased news about things that are overheating, such as maybe there are fires or if there's some chemicals or fireworks or something that's left kind of not stored properly, those things may overheat and there might be some uh, reaction or some accident, but also any sort of extreme sports or sports that are a little bit more violent, such as like racing or or violent or risky racing, fighting, anything that in, in, uh, involves excessive speed, uh, excessive heat, etc. Those things uh, may not go well this week. Uh, there's a greater probability than usual of various accidents, things again, like I said, overheating, going too fast, getting out of control. Uh, and this involves not just sports, but also anything that's like risky and dangerous. So military weapons or even gambling activities where things again may kind of skyrocket out of control. So initially things may go well. So if somebody say is an athlete, like a really well-trained athlete, they may actually reach their peak condition. And there may even be news this week about some uh, achievement by some sports team or an athlete. At the same time, like I said, if things are pushed too far, which this week there's a greater than usual probability of that, uh, or like somebody's trying to drive the car fast, but then they go too fast, and that's where the crash may occur because, again, there's just too much of that kind of energy. Uh, similarly, and especially the, uh, the 6th and the 10th uh, of October, uh, if there are any agreements, again, this week, but especially 6th and the 10th, the emotions may also run too high, so the parties may... Uh, be accusing one another of, say, manipulation or pressure, and uh, the agreements indeed may be achieved, again, 6th and 10th, uh, potentially maybe the most likely days, but it may not be achieved in sort of a amicable manner, but rather under, again, pressure or due to one kind of a party maybe bullying another into basically agreement into something. And again, if somebody is a truly like a, what is it, the daredevil or a stunt kind of a person indeed this week uh, that if somebody is engaging in such activities things are more likely to go wrong again there's a possibility of achieving some record but again if things are not properly controlled uh, an accident may also occur uh, for the u.s this entire week uh, seems to be a significant week in particular uh, 
Uh, currently, US is experiencing an ongoing transit from Pluto to its Mercury, a difficult transit uh, to be specific. And this week it's going to be kind of more precise. Um, and what that transit symbolizes, again, Pluto has to do with things like just powerful changes, but also pressure and sometimes underhanded activities or literally locations that involve things like mining, caves, tunnels, uh, underground storage and things like that, or end of life kind of situations with cemeteries or something that's confined because of, again, some uh, situation needs to be tightly controlled. So like a prison, for example, and Pluto also has to do with things like just power plants, nuclear power plants in particular, um, or just really a nuclear sort of solutions uh, you know, not literally, but figuratively speaking, where something is just completely demolished and built anew. And Mercury has to do with things like communication, transportation, including social media, but also education and things like cars, uh, airplanes, uh, computing, IT, and things like that. And so those areas may be particularly featured this week and the issues um, may come up where there may be some scandals or something that's you know, hidden and underground may come up, or again, it could be figuratively where like there's a scandal, like I said, or it could be, or spying, hacking kind of a situation, or it could be literally that maybe there's a transportation that occurs underground, like an underground tunnel and, or storage that maybe there's a nuclear waste stored underground. And that again, there's some problem and things need to be unearthed in order for the cleanup to occur. Uh, but with Pluto, there was a possibility of things, you know, any sort of negotiations or situations that things will not be again going kind of a fairly and smoothly, but rather through some pressure. Again, sometimes pressure is needed to achieve a result. Uh, so it could be that one party is forcing another party, manipulating another party to achieve the desired result. Or it could be that again, something just comes up because, um, you know, there's an excavation and suddenly this there's an accident and things are unearthed that were previously hidden, uh, but now the repairs are necessary. Uh, and so even though the situation may be kind of a unpleasant at the same time, it leads to a cleanup and kind of a fresh start. Uh, so basically for those kind of industries, um, either communication, transportation, education, or any uh, situations or um, projects that involve underground location, there may be um, greater than usual some uh, important uh, of some important situations or uh, initiatives or projects that may be announced this week for the US. And um, on the one hand, like I said, there is a probability of things kind of being renewed and of a fresh start at the same time, if there was anything that was previously hidden, done in secret, done kind of a, uh, in the way that was not appropriate, I suppose, or some hidden plans, or perhaps uh, financial manip manipulation, tax avoidance, any sort of fraud, uh, those things are more likely to be kind of uh, um, reemerge at this time. And in particular, because this um, transit between Pluto and US Mercury happens to be triggering the second and the eighth house, which has to do with, has to do with money, banks, finance, but also fraud, debt, uh, fr financial fraud, debt, um, insurance, those areas is where things may kind of be dug, you know, a little bit diff uh, more deeply. And again, there's uh, some situation that may be resolved, but it may not be resolved through, like I said, sweet and uh, cozy kind of a chit chat, but rather through one side, either manipulating another sort of party with which they're discussing something or through something coming up, perhaps some company wasn't paying their bills or wasn't paying taxes or was polluting the environment, but didn't really uh, do anything about that. And now it's, you know, maybe this week it may be discovered or uh, revealed. And so now the cleanup of that mess finally needs to occur. Also specifically for the US, the 4th uh, of October may see increased focus on oil, gas, pharmaceuticals, chemicals, Navy, water, healthcare, things like that. Again, Neptunian, na uh, of Neptunian nature, and there may be some problems in those areas, maybe excessive precipitation concerns or some uh, increased concerns about, uh, you know, some problems or disagreements, pushback, or just some protests, or even just disagreements due to some opposing views on some situations that are related to, uh, again, these Neptunian domains, like, you know, I don't know, um, oil and gas, for example, but also uh, 
There may be increased news again about military sports and some risky activities such as like risky market uh, investments. And so there may be some turbulence along those lines where uh, there may be some disagree disagreeing opinions or pushback on some initiative that involves those areas. Uh, for China also this entire week, but also through the 12th, so 4th through the 12th of October and especially uh, the 6th through the 9th of October seem to be quite significant and there there may be increased concerns or disagreements or arguments or some problems that relate to debt, loan, rates, taxes, uh, insurance, any sort of tariffs. Um, and uh, the problem may be or the problems may arise from some sort of uh, deceptive or confusing activities where something is hard to trace, like the origin of a problem may be hard to trace. And uh, at the same time this week and again through the 12th, there might be increased focus on things like Navy, maritime shipments, also oil, gas, flood, pollution. And again, there may be increased problems in those areas. Also things like chemicals, something polluting or inflammation uh, or rather a flare up of an um, infectious disease somewhere. Uh, so it could be along the lines of there being some accident, like a vessel catches fire, uh, spills oil, for example, or just like a Navy related kind of accident, or there's some arguments over shipping route, again, more related to like maritime kind of shipments or shipments of oil, shipments of chemicals. And uh, there may be some really significant announcements, most likely on the 9th of October, but plus minus, I'd say a day or two. Um, and those may be related to finance, banks, again, loans, insurance, currency value, um, debt, construction, um, and uh, the announcement may affect large groups of people and may involve something that's like a quick decision where something is acted upon very decisively, if not aggressively, and basically like a, not, I wouldn't say sudden, but a very kind of a determined move is being made where there is no hesitation and it may be move that angers some people and affects a lot of people, but it is a very decided sort of like a leadership or aggressive move to take care of something. And uh, I already posted, I'm recording this on Monday, but I already posted this uh, prediction back on Sunday specifically, but also even mentioned in the previous weeks uh, in my preview uh, sections. But basically uh, this Sunday, just yesterday, I took a look at the uh, Evergrande Group's uh, horoscope, which I don't know exactly when it was founded, but it was in sometime in 1996. And also part of their, I guess, uh, one of their, um, I guess, uh, what is it, the child companies or um, related companies is the uh, Evergrande New Energy Audit that uh, we do know that was um, initially uh, founded on August 28, 2019. So I took a look at those charts and basically we do have indeed difficult transits to those charts involving the particular moon nodes uh, this week. And again, the 9th seemed to be like an important date for both of those, you know, the parent company, the Evergrande Group, as well as specifically for this uh, branch, I guess, the Energy, New Energy Auto where uh, indeed there might be some important announcements and something that may be affecting uh, large groups of people or something that will have like a widespread effect. And as of Monday, I did see there was some news about um, shares of our Evergrande Group being uh, like the, the, the trading, I guess, uh, was halted because there was some announcement about potentially a deal where they're looking to raise some billions of dollars through selling or the majority stake in something, blah, blah, blah. But the bottom line is that the, the DS indeed, both for the chart of China it, this week is significant through about the 12th and especially 6th and 9th of the month, um, where indeed there may be some important announcements again for China, just in general as a country regarding of debt, loans, banks, finance, uh, as well as construction. And specifically, again, this week in particular, we will have some important transits involving moon nodes, which typically corresponds with large, wide scale events that affect many people or have widespread effect or known sort of far and wide. And that also happens to be this week. So definitely I would be looking for some important announcements um, related to China, potentially Evergrande Group, especially again, come 
October 9th. Uh, so moving along to other time uh, days of the week, uh, Tuesday market may rebound to up, but then I think on Wednesday it may again go down. And Wednesday the 6th we have new moon and typically new and full moon correspond with greater than usual market volatility. So regardless of the direction, Wednesday looks like an important kind of a day where there may be increased market volatility, but also events that occur around the new moon, which obviously and this is the 6th, I just, as I just said, I go into then um, affect the following or yeah, two weeks. So through the 20th when we will have full moon. So something that maybe begins around the 6th or is in the news around the 6th will have sort of a, that will be a theme for the uh, following two weeks and things may escalate or culminate around the 20th on the full moon. And so this time our uh, new moon occurs in Libra and we will have Sun, Moon and Mars conjunct in the same place. So Mars has to do with things like, as I mentioned, heat, uh, maybe fires, explosions, some accidents, uh, but also heated arguments. Libra specifically has to do with things like deals, negotiations of, you know, Libra is trying to be fair and balanced and make fair judgments. But Mars here uh, basically pushes for things to occur really fast and is not necessarily prone to like taking too long to balance things. So there will be kind of negotiations. Maybe the whole like next two weeks will be the theme. Uh, the theme will be uh, of negotiations, but negotiations that are very like aggressive or one side is press pressuring the other side or things happen faster than they should be without, you know, proper kind of check checking of are things balanced is the agreement or the contract fair to both sides. So there may be a lot of these heated arguments and sides not necessarily willing to negotiate you know, in a fair and balanced way. And by the time things kind of culminate and on, on the 20th of October, we will have on top of that, Mars will begin entering a square with um, Pluto. And in fact, there will be a T-square on the 20th between Mars and Sun, Pluto and Moon. So that will definitely be an important day, not just because it's a full moon, but also because of this additional uh, energy of Mars and Pluto involved there, which uh, indicate some um, just violence and uh, anger and protests and um, just kind of people losing their temper. So if there are indeed negotiations of of this time, indeed, yeah, they may culminate on the 20th, but they may not culminate in a sort of a amicable resolution type of way. Uh, they either may be broken off at that point that parties just will have had enough and they just will break things off at least temporarily, or they may escalate to the point where yes, indeed an agreement is reached, but it's through one side kind of bullying or pressuring another side into doing something, or things may escalate to an outright kind of fighting where neither side is agreeing to whatever the contract is or the uh, terms of agreement, but rather they're now open, openly kind of are fighting over whatever the issue may be. And um, indeed, that, like I said, there may be more difficult times. So definitely it's important to pay attention to what kind of issues come up on Wednesday, because again, they may be the flavor of the following two weeks and things may culminate on the 20th. Thursday looks down, as I mentioned. Friday also looks down, even worse than Thursday. And on Friday, there may be concerns about sort of anything to do with currencies and earnings, finance, banks, but also cryptocurrencies, taxes, rates, debt, uh, all of those things. And indeed, there may be some either currencies, cryptocurrencies, or some banks or some financial institutions. On Friday, there may be some concerns that uh, one or more of such entities are unstable or losing their value or something basically is off with them, unreliable, volatile, etc. And so some of those in you know, a currency or you know financial institution, they, their value may go down kind of more than expected at that time. And also again, if there are any ongoing discussions, uh, they will start heating up. And indeed the ninth is when something is either resolved or <coughs> either resolved or perhaps Again, it reaches some sort of peak where, again, the negotiations, negotiations become really um, serious or heated, and that may spook investors on the 8th. Um, 
And as I mentioned, the whole like uh, even into the weekend, the 8th through the 10th will continue to be important. And again, 9th especially, maybe things will happen on the 8th or maybe it's 9th in China, you know, 8th in, in the uh, Western Hemisphere. But basically, that's when there may be some important announcements um, regarding for China regarding some uh, financial areas, uh, but globally, uh, the, the topic of finance will be important, but also um, anything to do with commerce, retail sales, but also shipments, transportation, communication companies, including social media, all of those, uh, again, transportation, communication, and finance, those are the topics that will be in the news 8th through the 10th, and especially the 9th globally, uh, not just for China. And there, uh, globally, there may be some discussions of some important large trade agreement involving multiple international partners, and particularly, again, communication, transportation companies. Um, could be like a car manufacturer or something that affects how communication companies um, do their business or how something is shipped or how people travel or some sort of social media app or... Um, sale or acquisition of some company or business related to, again, cars, transportation, communication, social media. And uh, other important topics may involve just social media in general, like an influencer of some sort or a politician or somebody who is prominent on social media. They may be even more kind of in the news due to either maybe say their account is suspended or they post some video or some news that goes viral and it's kind of discussed, maybe they travel unexpectedly somewhere or they're known internationally in some new area where perhaps previously they weren't known. And either it will be the same person or in parallel uh, with this, there may be news about like a female leader also in the social media. Again, this could be that same prominent person I just mentioned, or it could be just some female leader that also will be um, featured in the news, again, with relation to either that leader traveling somewhere or being promoted. And again, if that's like, say, a CEO of some company, it will more likely to be, again, related to social media, uh, transportation, communication, maybe education. And that person, again, most likely a female, may also become somehow not known necessarily, the person may be already known, but they may be more featured again because either they traveled somewhere or uh, they are now becoming kind of more of a celebrity uh, because they posted something uh, that takes off or maybe because they gained wider recognition internationally somehow. So definitely some uh, all kinds of announcements that are coming up uh, at the end of the week. And then looking then further into next Monday, the 11th of October, things actually look a little bit more calm. So whatever the announcement that may come out 8th through the 10th, I think it will be, you know, maybe it will not be resolved, you know, very calmly, but it will be resolved somehow. And so, or at least the issue maybe, you know, postponed, like if there are heated discussions, maybe they'll be, uh, you know, postponed for now at least, and things look a little bit calmer on Monday. So Monday the 11th actually may, uh, the Monday may recover to up. Uh, so looking at the rest of the year, um, the rest of the uh, October through December, uh, what days uh, seem to be at least at a glance important at this time? Um, October 18th through the 24th is another important period, especially the 22nd and 23rd. And there, uh, unfortunately, we will have this tense square between Mars and Pluto that typically is indicative of, again, tensions maybe uh, strong earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, protests, just again, people losing their temper. At the same time, if somebody is in actual business, like when they have their energy under control and they're, say, a fighter, like professional fighter or a military person, that's something, somebody who does it professionally, I don't know, some uh, martial artist or something like that, at that time, actually, people may achieve kind of a greater records than they would have at other times because they're more likely to push themselves. But of course, those who are not normally uh, in control of those kind of energies, they may feel uh, that there's just too much violence around them. They may not be necessarily engaged in that, but they just may feel like the, the world is kind of around them is a little bit more on edge, people kind of more angry, or at least this may be an appearance of it, may, may not be the case, but that's just a subjective perception that may be sort of in the air around that time. And literally, it could also be just due to problems with the weather, like fires or 
earthquakes or mudslides or just kind of shakeups of some sort and that's 18th through the 24th especially 22nd and um, 23rd and as I mentioned the 20th is of course the full moon day which also is another time when things often occur if say there is like a disaster of some sort in November 8th through the 19th and in particular around uh, I guess both weeks, so maybe 8th through the 19th, both weeks seem to be significant. So we will have, on the one hand, um, Mars and Mercury. Initially, the week of the 8th will be squaring Saturn, which also corresponds often with some problems like delays and projects happening, some frustration, but also earthquakes and just kind of accidents due to things, again, like something that's moving fast suddenly smashes, like, you know, maybe there's a, you know, a ship or something and it runs aground. So it's trying to go fast, but it runs against a wall or uh, what is it? Um, uh, some underwater rock or something like that. And then on the um, the week of the 15th, Mars is going to be squaring a rather opposing Uranus. And this also is often indicative of some accidents, typically more have to do with like airplane accidents or uh, electricity, like power outages, some disruptions of services especially like social media services or uh, outages with i don't know online kind of service providers or just this general energy of things being unstable and of course uranus currently is in taurus which has to do with banks and currencies and mars may kind of aggravate the situation where things may appear to be unstable as far as like a bank's uh secure are the money secure in whatever the online account are the cryptocurrencies um maybe sort of too volatile and so there may be some concerns uh, about that that's the week of november 15th but those two weeks seem to be more likely to see either some uh weather kind of events like earthquakes or some accidents but also some power outages uh, maybe like violent storms uh, or sudden surprises or upsets related to earnings um, uh, or um, bank activities or currencies, currency value. This could involve uh, anything from debt, loan, rates, tariffs, uh, forks, uh, cryptocurrencies. And in general, indeed, the week of the 15th of November may see greater than usual volatility in the value of currencies. Uh, at the same time, there may also be some and the anxiety around that time or expectation about some rule or some laws that may affect international trade uh, also airlines electric power suppliers batteries electric cars airspace it companies and social media platforms and that law or that regulation may or may not uh, materialize but the expectation of it may again make things kind of feel more anxious um, for the investors around the week of 15th of november and again usually when things are you know, on the edge or there's anxiety, uh, things usually go down. Uh, let's see, and for um, specifically, I would say France, but also I guess with the US as it relates to this AUKUS um, security pact uh, between Australia, UK and US, uh, there may be some flare up or some follow up activities uh, due to some difficult transits to the chart of um, France, specifically also in early November, especially November 3rd through 6th. So there may be some either follow up negotiations or some disagreements or something that maybe some disputes again related to Navy or some laws maybe uh, passed on related to uh, again Navy or of course could be also other neptune areas, maybe pharmaceuticals, chemicals, oil, etc. in France. So it may again see follow up activities related to this AUKUS uh, and again, early November and or for France, there may be indeed, unfortunately, things related to kind of Neptune that are not very pleasant. So again, floods, which I know there's some ongoing floods in Marseille, but unfortunately, towards the end of uh, towards early November, things may kind of get worse, where again, more floods, more potential for um, problems related to water, navy, pollution that's associated with water, pollution of water pollution pollution through excessive uh precipitation and um we like i said already see it this uh, this month but it will continue intensifying and may culminate actually uh even in the early november 
not even to mention we'll have more flooding just globally i think next year in especially march and april let's see and then for december uh mid-december of 2021 appears to be an important time globally and for the us specifically where for the us uh, around the 15th of december we may see or here, but you know, plus minus few days, some important announcements related to fiscal policies and announcements related to like the value of US dollar rates, debt loans, things of that nature. Uh, and whatever the announcement may be, they may be again quite important and affect large numbers of people. And at the same time, uh, the value of gold and also potentially silver may go up. So there may be some sort of a response to whatever those announcements are where they will lead not lead, but necessarily cor correlate to, I don't know, correspond with uh, the value of gold going up. And at the same time, globally, the 15th uh, seems to be also important because we will have kind of tightening of the ongoing square between Uranus and Saturn, which typically corresponds with just kind of a turbulence in the markets. And especially now that Uranus is in Taurus, as I mentioned, so more focused on finance and currencies in general. So maybe some news about the cryptocurrencies or even value of USD, like I said, in general. But also uh, we will have Mars uh, with Moon on one of the Moon nodes at the same time. And that typically corresponds with, again, uh, sort of there's increased probability of various accidents or problems, earthquakes, um, just some um, issues of where things again kind of happen uh, not according to the plan like a disaster of some sort, explosion, fire. Um, so for example, more notably, uh, most recent uh, transit of Mars, and also at the same time Mercury was there as well, to the uh, moon nodes happened on the uh, August 14th of 2021. And at the time there was, of course, a powerful 7.2 earthquake in Haiti where um, you know thousands, over a thousand people were killed and um, thousands injured. And also right around the same time, there was an airplane airplane accident uh, where a Russian firefighting plane crashed in the Turkish mountain and also 6.9 earthquake in Alaska. So mid-December, uh, right around the 15th, seemed to be important both for some announcements about like financial uh, area for the U.S., which again may lead to uh, potentially changes in the value or more greater than usual changes in the value of US dollar as well as a jump in the gold prices as well as at the same time it's the time when there may be again around the world a greater probability of earthquakes accidents or just some clashes when again maybe that's not the best time uh, to be uh, just kind of leisurely driving around and maybe that's the time where it's best to chill <laughs> at home peacefully so uh, with that, I'm going to wrap it up. I uh, hope you found this useful and come back and check me out next time. Until then, have a great week, everyone. Bye.